Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Middleware Technologies. Today we will be seeing how we can set up log analytics using open source and data prefer a fluent bit. Okay. So I'll be working on uh, Fedora 36 uh, servers uh, with Docker engine uh, installed on that one. Okay. So what is uh, basically we are going to set up in this environment is uh, we are going to integrate open search with fluent bit and data prepper uh, and see how we can index the log data from the nginx server uh, into open search okay so before that let us just uh, have a brief idea about what is log ingestion okay so log ingestion is a way to transform our unstructured data into a structured format so that we can index the data and make queries and filter the data as per our requirement so that is the whole purpose of uh, what the log injection does. So here in this video, uh, like we will be using four uh, components uh, for this activity. So first one is fluent bit. Fluent bit is basically a log forwarder or log collector which collects the raw data from the uh, uh, sources and it will be used to send uh, it uh, that data to the data prepper or the transformer components okay so fluent bit is basically similar to uh, what uh, we know of uh, like file bit uh, in elasticsearch so we can uh, uh, correlate it with uh, the file bit component that we use widely in elasticsearch okay the next co uh, next component is data prepper data prepper is basically uh, used to transform filter the data that we get from the fi uh, fluent bits and convert it in, uh, into a format that can be more uh, structured and it is then forwarded to elasticsearch or open search for data uh, in indexing so that is the whole purpose of data paper and this can be correlated with log stash which we use widely in Elasticsearch integration uh, indexing uh, activities and the th third component is open search so open search is a uh, open source project that has been uh, forked by AWS uh, in order to provide an open source uh, way of uh, doing the elastic search activity so it is used for indexing the documents for search analytics uh, for uh, the documents and coming to open search dashboard so it is basically uh, similar to kibana what we use in elastic search it is uh, uh, it is uh, used for uh, visualizing the data and preparing the reports or indexing all uh, and log uh, querying the logs so all those we can do using the open search dashboard now let us go into how we can achieve the activity of integrating open search with fluent bit and data prep okay so as a first step we will be installing and configuring the open search so open search uh, is basically as i said is for indexing purpose so here we are going to set up a two cluster node uh, uh, for uh, our uh, elastics uh, for open search cluster so this is basically the uh, docker compose file that i'm going to use so it has two uh, nodes uh, which we are going to uh, prepare in this cluster and the and we are also going to set up the open search dashboard uh, within the same setup okay so let us go into our bash shell Let me go into my AWS open search folder. Now let me open my Docker Compose file. Okay, so this is the same Docker file uh, that I have uh, in my documentation. Uh, please ignore the config and role map. So this is for some other purpose like I am doing. Uh, but yeah, the, other than that, like it is the same file that I am using uh, as per the documentation. So here we are going to set up the open search cluster with two nodes, and uh, we are also going to uh, install and set up the open search dashboard. Okay. So let me start up the service. Okay. 
so I have I don't have my docker started yet let me start up my docker okay now let us start the open search cluster with the open search dashboard okay so let us take the logs so we need to make sure like it is up and running Okay, so now the server is up and running. So let us try to log in into our open search dashboard. So we have our open search dashboard ready. Okay, so let us go into our documentation again. So we have our open search dashboard ready and we have verified that we are able to uh, connect to our open search dashboard using the URL. And also we can verify uh, whether the open search cluster is accessible on uh, the port 9200. So let me go into my shell and try to do a curl onto our cluster so i'm able to access my open search cluster so we are good with that service now as a second step uh, like we need to prepare our uh, data prefer so let us go into our step a second step that is install and configure the data prefer Okay, so data prefer is basically, as I said, is similar to logstash, which is used to get the raw data from uh, the Fluent Bit component, and it is used to transform that data uh, for adding additional fields or modifying the fields as per our requirement. And uh, uh, it is it is a way to transform our unstructured data into structured data for querying and filtering it easily. Okay, so here we are going to uh, use data prefer for that purpose. So I'm going to use the following data prefer uh, Docker Compose file uh, wherein we are going to uh, mount this uh, pipeline that is log underscore pipeline.yaml file and we are going to expose the HTTP source uh, wherein the data prefer uh, is uh, expecting the input. Uh, so we are exposing that onto 2021 port and here is my uh, pipeline so wherein we are actually uh, taking the logs so basically this is source okay so this is source and we are processing it uh, in such a way that it matches with the apache logs format and then we are sending it to the open search cluster okay so let me go into my shell and go into my data paper folder so here is uh, as I said uh, here is my uh, docker compose file wherein I have inserted a uh, volume onto the log pipeline okay uh, and if you look at the log pipeline it basically takes the data from HTTP source and processes it uh, as per uh, the Apache log format and it sends it to the engine uh, open source cluster. Okay, so let us start this one. The data prepare component and let me tail the logs. Okay, so as you can see, data prefer is up and running on 4900 port. 
but it is reserving for HTTP data on port 2021. So this is where we are going to send this data from Fluentbit. Okay, so let me go into my documentation. So as I said, like once we are ready uh, with the component, we can. So basically, uh, in order to verify whether uh, your port is um, uh, actually listening or not, we can just do the following curl. So it basically uh, uh, should provide you with this method not allowed output. Okay. So let me go into my documentation again and uh, let us go into our next step that is setting up the fluent bit. Okay. So step three is installing and config configuring the fluent bit. Fluent bit is basically a lightweight forwarder uh, which gets the data from the application or logs and sends it to uh, the, uh, the data prefer for, for the uh, for structuring of it okay so as uh, as per the documentation like fluent bit is super fast lightweight highly scalable logging and metrics processor or for forwarder in this step we are going to set up log shipping tool fluent bit using the docker compose file so we are going to use log, the docker compose file to set up our data uh, forward that is fluent bit okay so fluent bit let me go into my shell so this is my fluent bit uh, docker service docker comp uh, compose file where it we are going to volume mount the fluent bit configuration so this is the uh, config file wherein we provide the source uh, from which we are going to collect the data and we are going to forward it to data prepper okay and this is basically the log file which we are going to mount uh, from host into the docker container okay uh, make sure this uh, folder the var log nginx is accessible readable using your whatever user you are right now in uh, working okay so, so as i can see so i am able to access this so just make sure like you have that uh, accessible let us now start up the fluent bit component okay so as you can see the fluent bit is up and running and it is basically capturing the logs from where log access and is, it is going to send it to the data paper so we haven't looked at uh, the config file so let me open in another terminal So this is the fluent bit configuration wherein we are taking the input from var log access log and we are send, sending it to the HTTP source which is listening on port 2021 on the host opensearch.stack.com. Okay. So and this is the URI uh, to which we are going to send the data. Okay. So this is how we are going to send the data to data paper for fluent bit. Okay. So let me close this terminal. We have the data prefer up and running. So right now, if you see, we have four components, like uh, three components running. One is for open search, the two cluster node with a dashboard, this one, and we have data prefer, and we have two and with that is up and running. Okay, and one more thing that we need is the nginx service. Okay, so let me make sure my nginx service is running so for that we need to install the nginx uh, package also so this is not running right now so let me start up the service and let us check so it is now up and running and let me go into my documentation so we have uh, just to make sure like uh, we have installed and configured the fluent bit we have looked at the docker compose file 
and we have looked at the fluent bit configuration uh, which provides us uh, with the information where from where we are taking the input and sending the data to data prepare okay and this is how uh, like we can verify the logs uh, wherein it shows from where it is taking the log data and, and from and to uh, where it is sending the data for transformation okay and as a step four uh, we need to run nginx so so we need to make sure uh, like we have the nginx service installed so we can install uh, on the uh, linux machine using uh, sudo dnf install nginx and then we can start the service okay so as i said like the var log nginx should be accessible so i have given 755 permission for that folder so that i can access the access logs from the within the container so now like uh, we can access the nginx service so we are able to access our engine and nginx service and parallelly let us try to uh, see the logs of uh and bit okay so let us try to hit it multiple times so let me try to hit the nginx index page using curl so as you can see like we are able to get the uh, log information wherein it is sending the data to open search cluster uh, the open search uh, uh, it is sending the data to the data paper which is listening on 2021 port. Okay, and similarly, like if you go and check the logs for uh, data paper, you should be able to see uh, like it is sending the data to open search, like processing one records or whatever uh, how uh, records are there for uh, indexing purpose. Okay, now let us go into our cluster. So one thing I wanted to uh, mention here, like uh, while we are sending the data using the data prepare uh, to Elastix uh, to, to open search, like we are uh, sending it to nginx underscore logs index. So you can provide any index. So once you have that uh, uh, data available in the index, you can go into stack management, index patterns, create index, and you can select uh, whatever index uh, wherein the data is available and create the index and after that we will be able to discover the data over here so as you see like uh, we have the latest data available So as you can see this is our latest data that we have indexed using open search okay so this is how like we can use uh, open search for log analytics uh, using data prefer and fluent bit uh, which we can integrate with uh, the open search component okay so i hope you uh, enjoyed watching this video thank you all thanks for watching this video and you guys have a Great day.